iPad or laptop. So which is best for medical school? And is iPad really necessary? Nowadays, most medical students have two things in common, stress and iPad. But why is it five years before? Well, if I have to answer this question in just one sentence, I would say, if you have a laptop, it will make your study a lot easier. But if you haven't, it won't make it any harder. By the way, I am Diti Gyadav from KSMS Medical Student. So in this video, I am going to discuss about different queries related to iPad. Whether you should choose iPad or laptop. Whether you need it in first year or later in clinicals. And if you are a scholarship holder, what you should do. If you are in Titan budget or it's hard to afford it. So I will be giving suggestions for everything. So stick around till the end. Apart from that, I will also be discussing about which iPad you should choose, which is good for you and all the uses of iPad along with some cons and whether you should choose an Apple Pencil or take an alternative Amazon Pencil just like me. So it's the current trend that makes us think that iPad is compulsory in medical school. But was it 20 years ago, like in 2004, the year I was born? It wasn't. Then the books were enough. But later on, laptop came. In laptop also, we could see the lecture and read the PDFs. And now it's time for iPad, where we also can make the notes. But believe me, more than 70% in my college don't have an iPad. So it's not thing to be same off. You don't need an iPad. Moreover, like iPad is in a transition process. So no one is going to say you anything because you don't have iPad. Like no one cares. It's life. And apart from that, many of us get better marks without an iPad and even a laptop. At the end of the day, the only thing matters is hard work. Your hard work, your persistence, your discipline, and your willpower. So if you can't afford it, you don't need to buy it. And if you want to buy it, I'll be suggesting which one to buy. Well, if you are thinking, why am I emphasizing on you don't need an iPad? It's because it's an investment, it's not something cheap. So you must give a second thought and only buy this. Well, before suggesting anything, I would like to say about iPad and laptop. So. First of all, for presentation. For presentation, it's a lot easier on laptop than the iPad. So if you need a lot of presentation, then you can use a laptop. Apart from that, for video editing, I personally prefer a laptop, but still you can make it on iPad. But for portability, obviously it's iPad. Apart from the slim Mac or laptop, obviously iPad would be the best option. And for note taking, it's obviously iPad. You cannot do it on laptop. So, I hope I have made it clear. Now for the suggestion. Let's be clear here. As a medical student, we don't need to do coding and all. So you don't need an iPad. So if you don't have an iPad and laptop and you are willing to buy one, then obviously go for iPad. But if you have laptop, I would suggest first of all you get admission in a medical school and like study around for 2-3 months and you will feel it yourself whether you need an iPad or not whether only the laptop is enough but still if you have scholarship holder or you can easily afford it then you can buy an iPad but if you have tight on budget then I would strongly recommend you to get admission and absorb it yourself for 2-3 months and you will be clear whether you should take an iPad or your laptop is enough but if you cannot afford it right now bro believe me you don't need it right now laptop is more than enough for basic science Later on, when you go to clinicals and ward postings, you can buy one. And talking about tablets, if you want to buy other tablets other than the iPad, I recommend not to do so because they have a weak processor. So you can just read the PDFs, can't make such smooth notes. Apart from that, they are not durable as well. But if you really want to buy a tablet, I would recommend to go with Samsung Galaxy Tab Series, as they would be best. Well, now talking about the uses iPad uses. First of all, obviously, you know, we can watch the lectures. Also, the SSD, you can buy a SSD and all the tape ladder and Nazi videos you can store on it and connect to the iPad and watch. Apart from that, obviously, you can read the books. You, obviously, you know, ambiguous books are a lot expensive. The main thing of iPad, digital notes. You can make it along with the images and links and sticky notes. It's so beautiful. You can make a beautiful note with it. A pro of having an iPad is when you are absent, your friend will make notes and you can just airdrop it in your. In, in iPad, you can also easily copy paste and do multi tasks in your chat GPT at the same time, so it's a lot easier. Apart from that, obviously, it's portable, 
you can take it anywhere mainly in the clinical postings it's a, it will be easier to study and check the patients at the same time and then it saves a lot of money like believe me you will think ipad is expensive but grey's anatomy cost around 200 dollar and ipad air starts from just 500 dollar so you can compare the price and apart from that obviously for the entertainment you can watch movies play high graphics games read the novels and manga it will give a better experience and now let's talk about the cons of ipad yes there are cons of ipad so first of all it's a major distraction like you won't even realize you are reading pdf and in next minute you will be scrolling deals on instagram and next is on eyes it will give a lot of stress on your eyes if you use it 24 7 while taking notes in slides many not many but few teachers may not allow you to take notes or many teachers change the slides so fast so it will be hard to go on pace with them well apart from that you can get saturated by reading PDFs, a lot of PDFs. So you will need some books to get switching on iPad and books at times. Well, if you have decided to buy an iPad, I'd suggest, first of all, there's 8 and 19, but they are a bit old fashioned and have thick bezel. So I know you won't like it. So talking about 10 gen, like if you have a laptop and you can store a lot of videos and watch it on laptop and at the same time you can use the 10 gen to make the notes. So 10 gen would be enough and also you need just 64 GB if you have already a laptop but no if you don't have and you want a latest one then go for iPad Air that's the ideal choice also M1 M1 is more than enough but right now there's M2 and also of 13 inch so if you prefer you can go for it as well and talking about the iPad Pro series do you really need it no it's a waste of money as a medical student other brands don't have longevity so don't go for them except obviously samsung galaxy s series you can go for the s9 if you want but i suggest ipad is best remember ipad is a luxury not a necessary so we talked about ipad now let's talk about notes so we will be making the notes so there's good notes notability and color note whether the latter is free other two are paid and just when i got the ipad i took the subscription of good notes so i won't use other one but my many friends use the color notes so you can go there now if you want to know what's there in good notes let me show you so see here good notes i have opened and it's the premium version you can see here so i have made the folder wise you can see i have kept the books pdf so let's open the notes how the notes so we have paper wise so i have kept in the same way now let's open pathology so you can see here, i have downloaded from the website the ready-made lecture of Najib. so you can thing of benefit you can see the lecture at the same time you also have the notes which you can edit so it will save a lot of time now let's see my note obviously my handwriting is not that good but so yeah, you can see congestive heart, cardiac failure so you can use different colors you can do other many things but i haven't used trust me no one makes note after a month so you can see here now while talking about good notes the premium features are like you can see here we can move this but apart from that, you can see what we can do. We can ask good notes. So it's just like chat GPT, but inbuilt. And also we can convert it into text or change the handwriting. So it's a lot of benefit. Also, we can do the voice record. So it's good for revision. Now talking about pencil. So what? Apple alternative or Apple pencil. So I have all the Apple pencil. So let's talk about first USB-C. So USB-C type pencil is the bad because it doesn't have a pressure sensitivity so if you are going to invest in apple pencil why to buy this so i won't recommend that now talking about ipad pro and second gen well both have pressure sensitivity but ipad pro obviously have also squeezing feature and now what's this or this so you can see from a distance there's nothing different apart from this logo so you are paying 150 dollars just for the logo you can get it in just 15 to 20 dollar and there's nothing different and while writing Unless you are a professional artist or an Apple fanboy, I don't think you need Apple Pencil. So if you want to buy, you can buy it. But I think it is enough, more than enough. If you have any queries, you can comment below or DM on my Insta handle. And do like, subscribe and share this video with your med school friends. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, huh? Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, huh? Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, huh?